Rutgers, 24th ranked Florida Atlantic, and one of the most electric players in the country, John L. Davis. The students Davis with this group where guys aren't tired when they come out. So want to play with great pace, and they've got to find rhythm early. Green Wave come out wearing the home white. They go inside to the seven-foot center. That's Vlad Golden, and the soft touch rolls That's the in. Softest rim in the every about. Uh, Kevin Cross leads in every statistical category, but in the American, it, it's been Holloway leading the way in the scoring. Right on the Colin Holloway's been the, the beneficiary of good passes. Defense! 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 Brian Greenlee getting the start and the blow by Florida Atlantic with an early. Tulane said they're going to get their shots up, and they're going to try yep. to turn this thing into a track meet as Golden will be fouled on the foot to Mark and an offensive rebound for John L. Davis. Martin, his pull up, nothing but nylon, a live. Why defenses are chasing the play, they're out of position. Sion James, love it. down the three, and that's a great sign. Down shots, he'll get open looks. Golden inside, Tough. double team, that quick release, you can't even guard that. Well, it's really hard to, to take away, it's also a tough pass to defend if the pass gets delivered. A lot of contact, and the Has a great feel for the game, being able to create opportunities for everybody else. Here's Davis, pull up jumper from the free throw line. This is a man, they need to start to get him going. Yeah, and they've got to get him good looks early. If you get him good looks early, you can find a rhythm. Because FAU's found it. They have found a rhythm three, and it's a rhythm three, which means it's a high percentage three. Cross his elbow jumper, rolls off the rim. And it but hold his stomach there, and he got hit. Kick out, three from the corner, back to back the rim. I like the attack from Tulane, but they've got to be careful. They've got to get some stops here. Fill in the lane, John L. David. Bring every, anybody, everybody back or not. It changes the dynamic. Start to look at yourself a little bit differently. Ooh. It's just too stinking easy. Wow. I'm on the shot clock at 13. James, a little pocket pass inside. And Colin Hall to play this free flowing, fearless way. Holloway 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Off the penetration board. He's knocked down two already. Too strong on that play. Bringing Kevin Cross up top. I like it. Cross avoids Davis and his turnaround jumper goes. Stick with each yeah. player. The passes aren't as crisp. And in doing so, they haven't created the same rhythm. There's an open hole since that two-lane timeout. They've got a 10-point lead. We played eight minutes. James. Open for three. He's knocked down. Rosado trying to work on the block. Bumping inside. Kick out. Davis, what a dime wow. inside as Weathers with the side of the backboard. Florida Atlantic, they got numbers. A four on one break. Weatherspoon finds that three point line, and that's what we're seeing. Always oh, got to take it out if I miss. The fact that the game actually likes that nowadays. Cross goes reverse. They're going to be in the conversation. We know about Memphis. Yep. SMU is a team who has started to emerge as the bucket goes inside. And, and even the intensity and physicality defensively, they're terrific defensively. Black Golden working on the block, runs over his defender, no whistle. Five, eight foot area. He's at least going to suck defense in because they don't have a matchup on the floor for him. Hook shot too strong, fight on the floor. Tough shot, but a good rebound by Davis to keep the possession alive. He'll take a contested three. Wow. That is tough. Frank, he, he's really, he's been aggressive. And when he's aggressive and assertive, he makes a higher percentage. Here's the guy they need to get going. Jalen, his team last year did very well. Four. Excuse me, it's cross with the crossover from the elbow, left it short. Touches just get open shots. So back-to-back -back turnovers for the Owls. As Tulane. Forbes felt the contact. And Golden didn't see the guy coming behind him. In transition, cross, throwing it down and trapping. Forbes in transition. This could be a big possession. Forbes trying to penetrate his runner goes. He has been stumbling on offense. Five turnovers in their last six possessions. Rising up for three, knocking it down. Brian Green with him with your movement off the ball, and he's getting himself set. He was shot ready on the catch, then it becomes a higher percentage three. Cross with a hand in his face. Turn in the lane, Rosado. Rosado shot. Davis, cut off, still trying to penetrate. The three from the outside. And roll teams that like to take it out of the game. 
Holloway with some space. Why not? Knocks down the three. Colin Holloway getting involved. Tulane's done a good job rebounding. They adjusted early. Why? Because FAU got some early offensive rebounds. They've adjusted. They've been there. Good position rebounding. Step back. To the Look at that on the floor. tip out by Colby King. Forbes with another crack at it. Takes on the seven foot one center. In deciding to slow things down offensively. Step back three. Oh, really? King. Oh, really? <laughs> Cross, double team, that leaves Fords open. Kick around to James on the wing. And ball screen, they're just going to switch and roll it up. All right, here goes Cross. Three seconds on the game clock. One second, puts it up, rolling up the rim. And that's how. Three ball on the way. Nick Boyd, second three in a row. your defense, get this defense chasing a little bit early. And as players come back into the play, yeah, look at how that's just too easy. But watch how quickly they get up. They get engaged, and now you get quick shot opportunities. And if you don't, there's a matchup you like, you beat it. Like, that's basketball. And dribble, rhythm dribble into the shot. Quick passing. Boyd open from the corner, knocks it down. There's that. And he's the best two second-half scoring teams in the conference. Forbes, a tough one. He's been making the tough shots. And this yeah. Shooters, why? Because you think about the open ones. Open is Martin again. Wow. This time he rattles it in. And now Tulane has numbers on the breakout. James has King. James keeps it himself. Mit the miss. Puts it back in. He is. Huh? Jim's around the country. I guess. Cutting is Martin, his floater. And all of a sudden. Of the matchup zone. Are they going to stay with cutters? Well, the great way to do that is to cut. we got to move through it. Holloway can knock that down. Went off the backboard and on the. So the lead is up to 10 for Florida Atlantic. Where's, let's see what the answer is here for Tulane. Cross, mid-range jumper, hands it. I mean, then he, su then he surprises you in transition and dunks on everybody. But I'm about to say, you can't say old man when he's got hops like that. It's golden, nobody. Basketball, where it's movement oriented. You kind of flow with the basketball. Forbes will try from oh. deep, and he knocks it down. It's most of the threes where he doesn't have to think. If he just instinctually catches and shoots, he makes a high percentage. Back inside of the post, and Golden just rides. Golden, but really, it's the catch that's too easy. Forbes, open oh, again. Nice little pump fake. Back-to-back -back threes, and here comes the, the way for Tulane right now with 15. Inside. And that's just too easy. What do you do if you're too but They don't have an answer for that, not in this matchup, because they're able to pick out the passes they want. But look Heat out, check. Forbes. Wow. Look out. Check. Wild pass by Boy. Track down. This is Martin, and he's got the answer from D. Inside the cross, he's got the double team. Everybody straight up, and cross just finishes. I.e. a long time ago. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. There's Forbes from the corner. Oh. At least give him this possession, this offensive possession. If you get a stoppage, maybe it's a good chance to get him out. Holloway, he'll go one-on-one -on -one and finish with the last shot. Clock's at eight. Davis to be in wow. and under. That was a nice finish. They've just struggled to separate. I think that's the thing. Like, even in the big games that they've won, they've been tight. Yes, Cross goes too strong. <laughs> Martin blocked from behind by Glenn. Out of bounds. It's the run for Florida Atlantic where they get some separation. Well, it only is if they can keep Tulane from doing that, right? It's just been back and forth. How many times in years past did you see that call a foul or someone tries to step in and take a charge? It's a good defense. James pump fake. And now they'll reset up top with Colin Holloway. Holloway going all the way to the rim and oh, missed the bunny. Guys, we're good. Greenlee, that's a two. He'll find Davis. Shot clock's at six. Boyd's got to get one up. Oh, he hits it plus the. Oh, hand down. Can't make a pay. <laughs> for something for that and call. And you see a hand on the deck. Stepping out of bounds, Davis, turnover. Strong rebound by Boyd, rolling on the floor. Excuse me, Greenlee. As Boyd has it, he'll launch from the top of the key wow. and rattle in a shielding the defender from the ball. 
Forbes, four of eight from deep. That one a little too deep. Davis has a career high seven assists, showing off the handles in the corner, and he's got eight assists. Forbes from the wing with a hand in his face, and he knocks it down. And a long time, Holloway, he's got the mismatch. Backing down the smaller guard off the window that leads down to three. Extra pass. Greenlee into the corner. They find Davis. No call. Three off the mark. Rebound to King. He's going to push. He's going to go one on four, and King lays it in. There's use of spacer in Jalen Forbes. Holloway challenges the soft black and it rolls in. Tulane with their Davis throws it up, punched out, tracked down by Martin. One second for the win. No, we have Five. for the win. Martin, point four seconds on the clock. Let's see what Tulane has on on the road. I, I don't know. I just have that gooey feeling inside. Like good for Florida, their team that loses a game like that. Great environment. A lot of energy going the way of Tulane. Wow.